Let's talk about news trading, how to do it and what to expect from it. So let's talk about that more right now. Hi Forex Traders, it's Andrew Mitchum here, the Forex Trading Coach, and today is Friday the 19th of June. And in this video and podcast, I want to talk about trading the news as a Forex trader. Um, I get asked uh, questions quite often about news trading. Um, and although I'm now a technical trader, I have traded the news in the past. And I've had another email came through here just this week from Sega. And Sega says, Hi Andrew, I'm a big fan of yours, and without fail, I always listen to your weekly podcast and I read your daily news updates on your website. Can you talk about news trading, i.e. the higher impact um, data events like the Fed rate decisions, etc.? So um, the way I look at trading is this. As a technical trader, I look at the charts. Um, yes, news affects how the charts develop and, you know, without a doubt, we have to be aware of the higher impact news announcements because that's how the market moves. Um, sentiment changes on news announcements. Um, now, about 11 or 12 years ago when I started trading Forex, I used to trade uh, the news quite often because back then things were different and like most things in life, times change. And back then I used to make a lot of money out of straddling uh, things like the non-farm payrolls or non-farm employment change that it's called today. And back then you could do that. You'd put a, a buy stop on above the current price and a sell stop below the current price. And as I've mentioned many times and it's also in my, um, my book, I made around 12% on my first non non-farm payroll news announcement by having a straddle. Um, I had a 10 grand account back then and I made about $1,200 in less than 30 seconds. Um, and as soon as I, uh, I think it was like, let's say, um, a buy stop got filled, as soon as I could delete the sell stop, I was in a big frantic panic. Um, I closed the buy stop out and I made 12% on live account on my very first non-farm payroll. And I thought, wow, this is just so amazing. This is so easy. Um, but back then you could do those type of things. But today, you know, things have moved on. Brokers have um, made that a lot harder to do. Um, you get price freezes during news announcement. You get big gaps. You get the wide the spreads, you know, spreads widen before the announcements. Uh, you get spikes up and down that, you know, you just can't straddle the news like you used to be able to do. And you get other things. If you place an order in there, you'll suddenly find there's a big spike up, let's say, and you get filled way up here, whereas you asked to be filled down here. So you get sort of those type of things happen. And really, it just makes it very hard to trade news as like a straddle trade um, like now. I mean, people do have things like, you know, they'll wait for the news announcement and they'll place a trade after that news and, that, and that's fine if you have a method that works and of course there are news traders out there that make a lot of money out of trading but me as a technical trader I much prefer to look at the charts because the charts especially the longer time frame charts tell me where the news is likely to move the market so I have a fairly good understanding of whether the news is likely to be better or worse than anticipated by what's already been shown um, several hours sometimes, um, several days sometimes in advance of that news announcement actually happening. So this is how I look at news trading now as a fundament, uh, sorry, as a technical trader, not a fundamental trader. Um, if I am trading four hour charts and um, higher than that, so six hour charts, daily charts, whatever it might be, the news doesn't really affect those trades as in like getting uh, stopped out because the, uh, those longer time frame chart trades, any whipsawing in the uh, price action over a news announcement doesn't really affect them. However, if I'm trading anything lower than a four hour chart, so let's say a one hour chart or a 15 minute chart, um, I'm really aware of those high impact news announcements that affect the currency that I'm actually trading. So as an example, if I was trading the Australian dollar, US dollar, and there was a high impact news announcement coming out of Australia uh, quite soon, and I'm already in the trade, then I'd likely close that trade or at least close part of that trade out before that high impact news announcement. Um, if I was trading a 15-minute chart on the Aussie US dollar and the news announcement was coming out, let's say, within the next hour, I probably wouldn't even take the trade because I'm getting a high-impact news announcement that's likely to affect the pair that I'm trading. However, at the same time, let's say I was trading the British pound, uh, Japanese yen, for example. That currency pair is so 
unlikely to be affected by that Australian dollar news announcement that it doesn't really matter what time frame trade I'm trading if I'm trading the pound yen because the pound yen is highly unlikely to be affected by any Australian dollar news. So it all depends on which pair you're trading, what time frame you're trading and what the news announcement is, what type it is and what currency pair it's likely to affect. So that's the way that I like to trade today. I mean to be honest as a technical trader the vast majority of my trades are not affected by news announcements at all. I don't sit up all day and night watching um, news announcements you know like that because back then 12 years ago when I took that first non-farm payroll trade uh, that happened at 2.30 in the morning for me local time here which was 8.30 in uh, New York at the time. And uh, you know, I just couldn't sleep. It was such a thrill. I made 12% on my live account in like 30 seconds. It was just incredible. I could not get to sleep that night. Um, but you know, like I said, things change. You have to develop and evolve as the market changes and as brokers change. And so as a technical trader today, I much prefer, I prefer to look at the charts, uh, like you can see behind me here, look at what the charts are telling me is likely to happen and take a trade based on technical analysis. So, so that's my uh, view on how to trade the news. You know, in short, I don't specifically trade the news as such, but you know, everybody's different. And like I said, there's uh, people that make money out of technical trading and fundamental and a combination of both. So I hope that helps. Um, any questions that you have, just email me, andrew at theforextradingcoach.com and I'll, uh, I'll make sure that I answer your questions on future videos and podcasts. So that's it for now. Have a great weekend and I look forward to talking to you this time next week. Bye for now.